Hi, I'm Mark Manor with Homer's Music, and this is uh, where we talk about new releases. If you like this video, subscribe to it. Um, so this week, we always talk about new releases that are coming out on Friday, Friday's new release day. This Friday is, of course, Black Friday, and so uh, Record Store Day does a Black Friday event. So we're going to talk about some of the releases that are coming out for Record Store Day Black Friday. Um, there's usually not a lot of big new releases that come out on Black Friday because of this Record Store Day event, although um, there's a really cool Bowie box set, which has all, I didn't bring it up here because it's super heavy, it's like, you know, 400 bucks spending, um, but it has all the outside and Heathen and uh, the unreleased record toy, so if you're a Bowie fan, you know, check that out. All right, so let's go through some of the Black Friday stuff. Um, Black Friday Record Store Day, um, it's very limited stuff. So um, if you're not at your record store uh, Friday morning, usually you might miss out on some stuff, but um, since, you know, pre-pandemic, you really couldn't get a lot of stuff online because there was a lot of rules to it. Uh, when the pandemic hit, they loosened the rules a little bit. So uh, if you find a good indie record store, you can probably go online, follow them, find out what their rules are, and you might be able to purchase some stuff in the early afternoon. Um, anyway. Here are some of the it's 120, 125 titles that are coming out. Uh, the list is at recordstoreday.com if you want to check out everything. I just picked out some of the kind of bigger ones that you might have a shot at. Um, so Fleetwood Mac, uh, they have a, you know, there was a live album that came out. It's very popular. It's kind of from their heyday in the early 80s. Um, this is going to be alternate live. So it's tracks from that tour that's, you know, on their kind of famous, you know, heyday live record but it's going to be alternate dates and versions and things like that so um yeah kind of cool uh 50th anniversary of leonard cohen's uh, first album so that's kind of cool i believe it's uh opaque white vinyl um if you're into the colored vinyl so there you go comes with a lyric book uh classic record uh, miles davis live this is a Oh man, this is quite the quite the live album. This is also 50 years, so if you are a Miles Davis fan, you're gonna wanna own that. Um, so this is Rob Dickinson. This is kind of I'm pulling this out. It's not the biggest release by any means, but it's kind of cool for me. He was a uh, the singer for a band called Catherine Wheel, who I adore. A lot of people that are music nerds, record nerds. Uh, a, <laughs> a door. We wish they were still around. We wish they were still doing stuff, but I think he might be an auto mechanic now or something. I don't know. Anyway, he put out this solo record and uh, it's finally out on vinyl, red and yellow vinyl. So if you're a Catherine Wheel fan, that's a pretty cool thing. Um, I don't know. So this is like Errol Smith. It's kind of, I think, demos from the first record. I don't know much about this. All I know is my boss ordered a bunch of these and he thinks it's really cool. So he thinks this is the the big the big deal. So um, it was all recorded in 1971. Um, yeah, so if you're an Aerosmith fan, I guess that's a big deal. I don't know much about it to be honest with you. Um, Jimi Hendrix is like a bootleg. Uh, it's a live show from Paris in 67 from the Olympia Theater. So kind of a cool thing. There's a lot of Hendrix stuff out there, but this looks, you know, kind of intimate, kind of cool. Um, all right, the Iron Maiden picture disc. Um, so this is their second record. It's a 40th anniversary, so picture disc. Uh, this is when Paul Diano was the vocalist and not Bruce Dickinson. So some people swear, swear that this version of Iron Maiden was better. I mean, but I like them better. Um, this is kind of the big one for Record Store Day. So Jason Isbell did that Georgia Blue record where he did a bunch of covers um, with a bunch of people of songs from uh, Georgia artists. It was kind of a dare he did with the election and all that. We won't get into it. But um, so anyway, there's a this came out digitally and on CD a while back, and this is the first uh, vinyl version of it. So you've got Britney Spencer from Alabama Shakes on it, Brandy Carlisle, Julian Baker, I mean John Paul White, you name it. They cover everybody from Now It's Overhead, which, uh, and to R.E.M., to uh, the Indigo Girls, Kid Fears. That's my favorite track on there. There's just a bunch of cool stuff. 
Um, so yeah, that's the big one. 20th anniversary of Maxwell's Now record. This is the one where he covers uh, Kate Bush's This Woman's Work and who uh, I'm a huge Kate Bush fan, massive, but man, he might, might be on equal footing. I don't know, I love his version. So uh, Mob Deep, um, Prodigy and Havoc. Prodigy passed away in 2017, of course. Um, hip hop group, this is a 2003 mixtape. So just some, I mean, it's stuff from the mixtape. So, you know, kind of cool if you're a Mob Deep fan, check that out. Uh, I believe it's the 30th anniversary of Mr. Big. This one has the hit, the, To Be With You on it. So, yeah, if you're uh, been looking for that for a while, here it is. So, I saw them open up for Rush of all things. That's kind of cool. Um, the Munsters, TV cast album. I don't know. It just looked kind of cool. I pulled it out. I think it's just them telling stories and maybe some songs and things like that. It's kind of a weird little nerdy thing. But. So um, No More Tears came out on vinyl again this summer and it was, the reissue was massive. I mean, we sold out of it so fast. I couldn't believe it. Um, so they are putting out a picture disc version that's going to be a hot item uh, also because, I don't know, Ozzy's just kind of hot right now. So And Saigon Kick, little kind of little known band from the early 90s they were kind of caught between that hair metal era and the grunge era so they never really made it huge but they did have one hit which was um god what was it love is on the way that's what it was and if you heard it you'd recognize it so it's a pretty solid album all around they just never really went very far after that um shangri laws 60s girl group known for leader of the pack though i was reading this i guess now they're known for it features the original oh no song it's heard on tiktok so um yeah i guess the shangri-las are having a big <laughs> tiktok revival <laughs> so anyway this is a great collection there's uh four sides to this two records um tons of great stuff so they did a lot more than just uh leader of the pack they had remember the sand give them a great big kiss things like that so uh, Nina Simone and Friends. Um, this is a Nina Simone record, but it also has Chris Connor on it, Carmen McRae. So it's kind of more of a you know comp compilation, introducing some other artists that were around her at the time. Uh, Dusty Springfield, great Southern soul singer. Um, I guess she was Southern, but she <laughs> sang a lot of songs that were uh, of a Southern, the Muscle Shoals thing. Anyway, um, this is a great collection. Two records has a lot of the big hits from those Muscle Shoals years and other songs as well. Um, Thundercat, this is the 10 year anniversary of his debut album. Um, I believe it is, well, it's Golden Age of Apocalypse. I believe it's on Translucent Vinyl. It's also got two bonus tracks on it. So Thundercat's been blowing up. So it's kind of cool to have this back out on vinyl. You two, Gloria. So this is uh, it's a single kind of. So it's a single, but it's got three live versions of Gloria in three different decades. So that's kind of the cool thing about that. So I'm into it. Last but not least, Weird Al Yankovic, super popular this week. Um, this is him doing "Beat on the Brat," the Ramones classic with Osaka pop star. Um, I think this came out a few years ago. It was on a Dr. Demento punk tribute record or something like that. So they're releasing it as a single, Osaka pop star, I forget who the guy's name, but it's also, it's, um, oh, John Cafiro, I'm reading it on the back. Um, but it also had Marky Ramone in his band and Jerry Only, I don't know who's all playing on this, but it also has five live bonus tracks of Osaka pop star doing Ramones covers, so there you go. So that's what I have, have a happy Black Friday and I wish you luck.